I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 30.1 Questioner, I am going to make a statement and then let you correct it if I have made any errors. This is the statement, creation is a single an entity or unity. If only a single an entity exists, then the only concept of service is the concept of service to self. If this single an entity subdivides, then the concept of service of one of its parts to one of its other parts is born. From this springs the equality of service to self or to others. It would seem that as the logos subdivided, parts would select each orientation. As individualized entities emerge in space-time then I would assume that they have polarity. Is this statement correct? Answer, I am Ra. This statement is quite perceptive and correct until the final phrase in which we note that the polarities begin to be explored only at the point when a third density entity becomes aware of the possibility of choice between the concept or distortion of service to self or service to others. This marks the end of what you may call the unself-conscious or innocent phase of conscious awareness. Question 30.2 Questioner, thank you. Would you define mind, body, and spirit separately? Answer, I am Ra. These terms are all simplistic descriptive terms which equal a complex of energy focuses, the body as you call it, being the material of the density which you experience at a given space-time or time-space, this complex of materials being available for distortions of what you would call physical manifestation. The mind is a complex which reflects the inpourings of the spirit and the outpourings of the body complex. It contains what you know as feelings, emotions, and intellectual thoughts in its more conscious complexities. Moving further down the tree of mind we see the intuition which is of the nature of the mind more in contact or in tune with the total beingness complex. Moving down to the roots of mind we find the progression of consciousness which gradually turns from the personal to the racial memory, to the cosmic influxes, and thus becomes a direct contactor of that shuttle which we call the spirit complex. This spirit complex is the channel whereby the inpourings from all of the various universal, planetary, and personal inpourings may be funneled into the roots of consciousness and whereby consciousness may be funneled to the gateway of intelligent infinity through the balanced intelligent energy of body and mind. You will see by this series of definitive statements that mind, body, and spirit are inextricably intertwined and cannot continue one without the other. Thus we refer to the mind, body, spirit complex rather than attempting to deal with them separately, for the work, shall we say, that you do during your experiences is done through the interaction of these three components, not through any one. Question 30.3. Questioner, upon our physical death, as we call it, from this particular density and this particular incarnative experience, we lose this chemical body. Immediately after the loss of this chemical body do we maintain a different type of body, is there still a mind, body, spirit complex at that point? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. The mind, body, spirit complex is quite intact. The physical body complex you now associate with the term body being but manifestation of a more dense and intelligently informed and powerful body complex. Question 30.4. Questioner. Is there any loss to the mind or spirit after this transition which we call death or any impairment of either because of the loss of this chemical body which we now have? Answer, I am Ra. In your terms there is a great loss of mind complex due to the fact that much of the activity of the mental nature of which you are aware during the experience of this space-time continuum is as much of a surface illusion as is the chemical body complex. In other terms nothing whatever of importance is lost, the character or shall we say, pure distortion of emotions and biases or distortions and wisdoms, if you will, becoming obvious for the first time, shall we say, these pure emotions and wisdoms and biased distortions being, for the most part, either ignored or underestimated during physical life experience. In terms of the spiritual, this channel is then much opened due to the lack of necessity for the forgetting characteristic of third density. Question 30.5 Questioner, I would like to know how the mind, body, spirit complexes originate, going as far back as necessary. How does the origination occur? Do they originate by spirit forming mind and mind forming body? Can you tell me this? Answer, I am Ra. 
we ask you to consider that you are attempting to trace evolution. This evolution is as we have previously described, the consciousness being first, in first density, without movement, a random thing. Whether you may call this mind or body complex is a semantic problem. We call it mind-body complex recognizing always that in the simplest iota of this complex exists in its entirety the one infinite creator, this mind-body complex then in second density discovering the growing and turning towards the light, thus awakening what you may call the spirit complex, that which intensifies the upward spiraling towards the love and light of the infinite creator. The addition of this spirit complex, though apparent rather than real, it having existed potentially from the beginning of space-time, perfects itself by graduation into third density. When the mind, body, spirit complex becomes aware of the possibility of service to self or other self, then the mind, body, spirit complex is activated. Question 30.6 Questioner, thank you. I don't wish to cover ground that we have covered before but it sometimes is helpful to restate these concepts for complete clarity since words are a poor tool for what we do. Just as our passing point, I was wondering, on this planet during the second density I believe there was habitation during the same space-time of bipedal entities and what we call the dinosaurs. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 30.7 Questioner, these two types of entities seem to be very incompatible, you might say, with each other. I don't know, but can you tell me the reason for both types of entities inhabiting the same space-time? Answer, I am Ra. Consider the workings of free will as applied to evolution. There are paths that the mind-body complex follows in an attempt to survive, to reproduce and to seek in its fashion that which is unconsciously felt as the potential for growth. These two arenas or paths of development being two among many. Question 30.8 Questioner, in second density the concept of bisexual reproduction first originates. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 30.9 Questioner, can you tell me the philosophy behind this method of propagation of the bodily complex? Answer, I am Ra. The second density is one in which the groundwork is being laid for third density work. In this way it may be seen that the basic mechanism of reproduction capitulates into a vast potential in third density for service to other self and to self, this being not only by the functions of energy transfer, but also by the various services performed due to the close contact of those who are, shall we say, magnetically attracted, one to the other, these entities thus having the opportunities for many types of service which would be unavailable to the independent entity. Question 30.10 Questioner, was the basic reason for this to increase the opportunity of the experience of the one creator? Answer, I am Ra. This is not merely correct but is the key to that which occurs in all densities. Question 30.11 Questioner, does the process of bisexual reproduction or the philosophy of it play a part in the spiritual growth of second density entities? Answer, I am Ra. In isolated instances this is so due to efficient perceptions upon the part of entities or species. For the greater part, by far, this is not the case in second density the spiritual potentials being those of third density. Question 30.12 Questioner, thank you. Can you give me a brief history of the metaphysical principles of the development of each of our planets that surround our sun, their function with respect to the evolution of beings? Answer, I am Ra. We shall give you a metaphysical description only of those planets upon which individual mind, body, spirit complexes have been, are, or shall be experienced. You may understand the other spheres to be a part of the Logos. We take the one known as Venus. This planetary sphere was one of rapid evolution. It is our native Earth and the rapidity of the progress of the mind, body, spirit complexes upon its surface was due to harmonious interaction. Upon the entity known to you as Mars, as you have already discussed, this entity was stopped in mid-third density, thus being unable to continue in progression due to the lack of hospitable conditions upon the surface. This planet shall be undergoing healing for some of your space-time millennia. The planet which you dwell upon has a metaphysical history well known to you and you may ask about it if you wish. 
However, we have spoken to a great degree upon this subject. The planet known as Saturn has a great affinity for the infinite intelligence and thus it has been dwelled upon in its magnetic fields of time-space by those who wish to protect your system. The planetary entity known to you as Uranus is slowly moving through the first density and has the potential of moving through all densities. Question 30.13 Questioner, thank you. You stated yesterday that much of this major galactic system dwells spiritually as a part of the Logos. Do you mean that near the center of this major galactic system that the stars there do not have planetary systems? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The Logos has distributed itself throughout your galactic system. However, the time-space continue of some of your more central sun systems are much further advanced. Question 30.14 Questioner well then, could you generally say that as you get closer to the center of this major system that there is a greater spiritual density or spiritual quality in that area? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full question of this session as this instrument is somewhat uncomfortable. We do not wish to deplete the instrument. The spiritual density or mass of those more towards the center of your galaxy is known. However, this is due simply to the varying timelessness states during which the planetary spheres may coalesce, this process of space-time beginnings occurring earlier, shall we say, as you approach the center of the galactic spiral. Question 30.15 Questioner, the instrument would like to know if you could tell her whether or not this item which is called Sam Miller's polarizer would help her physical well-being. Could you do that? Answer, I am Ra. As we scan the instrument we find anomalies of the magnetic field which are distorted towards our abilities to find narrow band channel into this instrument's mind, body, spirit complex. The polarizer of which you speak, as it is, would not be helpful. A careful reading of this instrument aura by those gifted in this area, and subsequent alterations of the magnetizing forces of this polarizer, would assist the entity, Sam, in creating such a polarizer that would be of some aid to the instrument. However, we would suggest that no electrical or magnetic equipment not necessary for the recording of our words be brought into these sessions, for we wish no distortions that are not necessary. Question 30. 16. Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Ra, this instrument is well balanced and the contact is as it should be. This instrument has certain difficulties of a distortion you would call the muscular spasm, thus making the motionless position uncomfortable. Thus we leave the instrument. I am Ra. You are doing well, my friends. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.